Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Brian Lovett, AKA B-Love. Today, we're gonna to continue talking about coronavirus masks. After printing dozens of masks of different designs myself and getting those out to frontline workers in hospitals, doctors and nurses specifically, I've finally come to a conclusion about what I think is the best mask to print. So let's get into it. A few weeks ago, we started printing coronavirus masks for hospitals here in Colorado because a lot of them were running out of PPE or personal protective equipment. These masks are kind of a last resort to help them stay healthy during this entire crazy crisis that's going on right now. So we started with a design that one of the doctors provided to us. And what it was is this three piece mask design where this front piece pops off. And then on the inside, you've got this square piece here that you cut a little bit of typically a HEPA filter or ideally polypropylene filter to place on this. It snaps in here, it's nice and secure. And these actually work pretty well. The drawback to this, and it's a pretty big drawback is that it's hard to breathe in these. Since it has such a small filter cross section in here, it's really difficult to get enough oxygen to breathe comfortably for an entire eight hour, 10 hour, maybe even 12 hour shift that a lot of these doctors and nurses are experiencing today. We sought out to do a couple things. One, we wanted to make these masks more comfortable. Originally, we were printing these entirely out of PLA or PETG. But what I discovered is that by modifying the mask and setting a layer height change, you could print this top section out of a flexible TPU material. It still has all of the properties you would hope for as far as being chemical resistant. It's a 95A TPU, which handles chemical resistance better than some of the other lesser grades of TPU. But it also, as a side effect of that, it creates a better seal against the skin because now you can get it real tight. It flexes a little bit and it creates a better seal. It's more comfortable and you can wear it for longer periods of time. So this is kind of our go-to mask at the beginning. And I printed dozens of these and got them into the hospital workers' hands. And that brings us to this second design that we started using. Now we did the same thing here. We did a layer height change. So you print PET G that's rigid on the bottom and then you print flexible TPU so you get a good seal around the mouth and it's more comfortable to wear. Now the great thing about this one is it has a much larger surface area for that filter. You can see it's about 50% larger than the original design so the breathability is better and it's more comfortable to wear for long periods of time. The downside is the way that the filter snaps in on the back makes it really flimsy. So you can see here, watch, Okay, this is, this is snapped in, and if I just, there, it fell out. So this inner piece is all that's holding that mask in. You can see the cross-sectional area is very thin. It's only a couple millimeters in height, and that just barely pops in here, and it fits pretty loosely. That's not what we want. We want something that's gonna be durable and hold up over a long shift in the hospital. So let's look at the next mask design, which I'm considering the best one out there, the one that everybody should be printing right now based on what I've seen and printing probably close to 100 of these masks myself. So that leads us to this design, otherwise known as the Bowl of Vare mask. This design is fantastic, I love it. So the first thing I did when I got this is again, I set that layer shift change from PETG filament to TPU so you get that flexibility and that comfort of wearing this for long periods of time during a long shift. But this mask overall just has a number of design elements that make it ideal. First of all, I really like that it has this little tab on the side so you can pop the filter out by pulling up on that. And the reason it needs that is because the filter really fits in here snugly. You can hear when I snap this in, how tight that sits in there. And that's exactly what you want. It also snaps in from the front instead of the back, which I like for a number of reasons that we'll get to but it, it also has these little indentions in here and these little tabs that stick out and that helps snap it in. You can see how thick this is by looking at the cross section here. And let's compare that to that other mask. You can really tell the difference. This one's gonna be much more secure in the way that it holds things together. It's just as easy to use. You simply cut out your filter, lay it over the top and then snap it in here like so. And an added benefit of this going on the outside instead of the inside, well, if you're cutting fiber masks, 
to make this filter or you're cutting any type of material that has rough edges or anything like that, now it's no longer on the inside of the mask. If you look at any of these other designs, say this original one for example, see how this loose filter material is on the inside? Well, if this was something that had, you know, fiberglass or something else dangerous to your lungs, you're sitting there breathing that in all day. The same thing goes for this design because it snaps in from the inside. So with this one, you've got the best of all worlds. You've got the large filter surface area of this mask. You've got this exterior connection, which has a very deep guide into it. And you've got, again, because we modified it, you get the flexibility of having the TPU on the outside for comfort over long periods of time. And the final thing I like about this, if you compare it to the original design we had, you can see how much larger these strap areas are. So when you try to fish a strap through here versus this, it's almost twice the size. And so this makes it a lot easier to get different material straps in these, and it's less time that hospital workers have to spend fumbling around getting these tight around their faces. So it's a little bit easier to use overall. So if you're involved in 3D printing already or you're looking to get started because you wanna help print masks for some of our doctors to help protect them against coronavirus, this is the design I 100% recommend at this point. I'm gonna drop a link in the description to the original design. I'm also gonna drop a link to my Slack channel. My Slack channel has over 400 creators that are 3D printing and also hospital workers that are giving us feedback in near real time. And we have a lot of tips and tricks in there. I also have my modified files so you can get these designs that have the switch over from PETG to TPU. A lot of people ask me about my 3D printer and what I use to print these. I personally use a Prusa Mark 3S. A lot of people I'm suggesting if they want to get into this inexpensively, you can use an Ender 3 or an Ender 3 Pro. And so we'll drop a link in the description to those as well. If you're unsure where to start or how you can help, go to masksfordocs.com. That's a great resource to find and connect with local hospitals and doctors in your area and find out what they need. A lot of people are printing face shields, some are printing masks as well. Also check out again the Slack channel and you can find out if there's anybody in your local area that needs anything specific. As usual, everyone, thank you so much for your continued support in this. And if you have any questions, I'm always around. I'm happy to answer them down below. Thank you guys so much and stay safe out there. See ya.